Week two of the NFL is in the books. Man, injury to Nick Chubb. We're going to talk about it right here. Stick around for a little breezy this, a little breezy that. Breezy this, breezy that. They know I'm gold blooded. I got the Niners on my back, you know. And yeah. Joe, pass in the Breezy end. this, breezy Award. that. Ain't nobody working like Breezy, and that's a fact. Over motivated is an understatement. Gold blooded to the core, got your squad hating. Breezy make it look easy. Breezy on everything like 05067 Wheezy. This is not a game. Yeah, we faithful in every way. And even though we on the East Coast, very loyal to the Bay. Heavy red and gold every day. And if you really a Niner fan, I know you can relate. Applying pressure with this content like smaller bear. We not accepting no slander by Trey, so beware. I stay in exclusively Nina hats. And I always tell the truth, this exclusively Nina facts. Breezy this, breezy that. They know I'm gold blooded. I got the Niners on my back, you know. Yeah. Breezy this. Welcome, everybody, to the All 32 show with your boy Breezy. And the NFL Week 2 season is officially in the books. Listen, a lot of injuries to talk about, but, you know, there was nothing more, I don't know, lack of words, more gruesome to watch live than the Nick Chubb's injury. And our prayers right now are going up for Nick Chubb. Um, the it's It's rumored that he tore at least three of the four major ligaments um and his knee so we'll, we'll talk about that a little bit but welcome to the show man i truly appreciate you guys make sure you guys check out the residency gear sponsored by residency all right you can go to www.residency.com use the promo code sf breezy you can save five dollars on your total purchase all right you can save five dollars on your total purchase and if you're a football fan if you're a 49er fan if you're a fan of any team uh and the 49ers player team check out the exclusive content we got over there on patreon.com backslash at wayne breezy there you'll get the film breakdowns the all 22 defensive film offensive film you'll get specific player film breakdowns and analysis right there on the patreon it's exclusive for patreon members so make sure you guys go ahead and check that out all right let's go ahead and get down to the show let's do a quick recap of what went down this week in the nfl you can see Woo! I mean, I look. Uh, a lot of these teams, I I didn't pick to win in my picks. Like you know, but um, very very exciting week of football. I thought football was pr this was probably the best week of football that I've watched in a long time. Like NFL Red Zone was on and popping. All right, so here goes some recaps of the scores. You got the Eagles over the Vikings, 28-24. You got the Falcons over the Packers. What a game! 25 24 bills blow out the raiders 38 to 10 the ravens and the Bengals. i mean the ravens were running away with it all game and the Bengals started to make a comeback you got the seahawks over the lions in overtime what a crazy game um chargers failed to the titans the titans won at home uh the bears and the buccaneers i i'm not sure with all the turmoil that's going over in chicago if they'll ever win a game you got the quarterback throwing the coaches under the bus. You got the defensive coordinator that's going to be suspended indefinitely. I don't know what's going on in Chicago, but it's not good for Justin Fields. Anyway, they lost to the Buccaneers. The Buccaneers are 2-0. The Chiefs versus the Jaguars. That had to be one of the most boring games this week. I mean, Trevor Lawrence looked bad. I don't know if that was from the addition of Chris Jones. Chris Jones did play, uh, and he was effective. I believe he had. I know he had one sack, but I think he even had two sacks in that game. So check it out, man. That was it was crazy. You got the Colts over the Texans, uh, the 49ers over the Rams. And I know like the score is 40 to 23, but once the 49ers grabbed hold of the game, 
it was a it was it was it was a pretty good substantial win. They were really up by ten to the last four seconds of the game, and Sean McVay and his Rams decided to kick a field goal. The Giants came back from a crazy twenty-seven point deficit and defeated the Arizona Cardinals. Now, the Arizona Cardinals have to be like one of the worst teams in the nfl the jets lose to the cowboys the commanders win in denver that game was crazy right because denver scores then they can't get the two-point conversion uh, look i'm t- <laughs> it's it's just crazy football um if, if you guys watched it you had sunday night football uh which was which was good and then monday night football is where it got kind of little little hectic now i i think i'm starting to become a fan of the double header on monday night i think i think i can dig it i think i like two games uh one starts a little bit earlier than the other game uh but i think i like having two games on and then you know it's just one less game to watch on um on sunday and one extra game to watch on monday so again sunday night football dolphins versus patriots if the patriots stop turning the damn ball over early they'll be fine i know they're owing two but they'll be just fine you got the saints edging the panthers on monday night and then the browns failing to lose to the steelers steelers defense scored not once i think they scored twice in this game uh now a lot of people want to sit there and, and and talk about that steelers uh, game and this is this is the game that Nick Chubb was injured and in. I'm not going to show any graphics of the injury or whatnot. Just know that our prayers are going up for Nick Chubb and and we wishing and praying him and to a speedy recovery, right? A speedy recovery. Uh, the hit though was on a play. Now it was a regular run play, you know. Look, look, really, look. It didn't look dangerous until uh, Minka Fitzpatrick, who also was injured, uh, dove at the knee um of of nick chubb and his whole body went into the knee of nick chubb and it it just it it just bent a way that it's not supposed to ever bend and so it literally like like i said it just broke uh well i don't know if it broke but it tore every single ligament well three of the four ligaments uh according to the doctors there that's what they're that's what they're thinking it tore three to four ligaments in the knee. Now, will Nick Chubb be ready to go next season? I don't know. There was a there was a crazy uh, something that I read earlier, like a, a a report from a doctor saying if it hit a certain artery, then there's a possibility that he may not play again. So um, again, prayers are going up for nick chubb and if you're a browns fan you just got to figure out a way to hold yourselves hold your heads high um and the bright side of this is you got a kid from uh, that played at cincinnati jerome ford who was able to score for you guys um and so if you guys are in fantasy football make sure you check out what's your fantasy show uh live every wednesday night at 8 p.m eastern standard time but if you got jerome ford go ahead and do it um get him uh, also, Kareem Hunt, uh, I believe the Browns are signing Kareem Hunt. So uh, he's a familiar face over there in Cleveland. Uh, they didn't want to bring him back due to the amount of money that he was asking for. But unfortunately, now they're going to need him back. So they're going to have to figure out how they're going to get him um, or, or whatnot. Now, as we prepare for week three, you know, Thursday night football is underway. Um, as we prepare for week three, it's going to be the New York football giants at San Francisco 49ers. Um, before we get in, into what week three or what we plan to see in week three, let's go ahead and talk about the undefeated teams in the NFL. All right. You got the 49ers, the Eagles, the Saints, the Ravens, the Buccaneers, the Cowboys, the Commanders, the Dolphins. And the Dirty Birds, they're going to always be the thir- the Dirty Birds to me. They're the Falcons. I like them. We used to call them the Dirty Bird. I, I used to like the dance, though. I hate the team, but I like the dance uh, that my man Jamal used to put on. So there you go, man. You got the Eagles, the Saints, the Ravens, the Cowboys, the 49ers, the Buccaneers, 
the Falcons, the Commanders, and the Dolphins. Now, what I'm going to ask you to do is in the comment section, list which t- team is the most dangerous of the 2-0 and teams. Now, I know it's early. It's the beginning of the season. But which team is the most dangerous? And if you look at that list, you know, some people may say, oh, it's that explosive offense from the Dolphins. They're crazy. Oh, it's the Dallas Cowboys defense. They have 10 sacks on this year already. Oh, it's Baker Mayfield. Oh, it's the Falcons in the run game and the defense, right? Oh, it's the 49ers. They're the most complete balanced team in the NFL. It's Lamar Jackson and the Ravens. It's, no one's saying it's the Commanders, which is weird. They got a really good defense. And do you believe in the Saints? Now, I know that's a weird rhetorical type of a question, but you know what I'm saying? Like, that that's 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 weird and, and rhetorical now that I think about it. Uh, yeah, but I do. I do. I do. Um, I don't, I, like, they, the Saints find a way to teeter around, you know. Uh, they find a way to teeter around. And, look, the Saints may be the winners of the NFC South, um, but you got the Buccaneers there. Now, the Buccaneers... Uh, let's see who they got week three. All right. So, uh, again, let's just go. Re- let's just preview week three. Um, you got the Giants at the 49ers. You got the Colts at Baltimore. All right. So that's the AFC South versus the AFC North. I'm looking for the divisional. I'm looking for, like, there's a couple of 2-0 and teams that are playing each other. And that's what I'm, I'm necessarily looking for. Um... Let me keep going. You got a couple of 0-2 teams. So there's going to be an 0-3 team, and there's possibly going to be... Okay, so Philly and Tampa Bay on Monday Night Football is going to be the first two of the 2-0 and teams that are playing each other. Philly versus Tampa Bay. Monday Night Football. That's going to be a crazy game to watch. Which team is going to be 2-1? and one? Which team is going to be three and zero? Now, if I if I just just off of the strength, I mean, I know the Buccaneers' defense is surprising me. Like I'm not even going to stunt. Like their defense looks really good, but it's Philly. Philly has that complete balance on offense. Like they got a great secondary. They got a great front seven. It's just like they're they're pretty damn well balanced throughout the league if they can get the offense to churn like they did this past week you know against the vikings i mean only put up 28 points but they did everything on the ground speaking of ground my offensive player of the week is none other than deandre swift i mean this dude put up tremendous amounts of yards on the ground he took a licking but kept on ticking all right, DeAndre Swift or Dondre Swift, however you say his name. I know it's D apostrophe <laughs> um, A Andre. So he put up 175 yards on the ground with a touchdown. This was by far, excuse me, in the total purpose yards, was it 170? I mean, gosh, Lee, like by far, he was averaging 6.2 yards a carry. Like, the dude balled out in this game. Best game, um, I would say, of his career. 175 yards. He has a total of 178 yards so far on the season. They did not utilize him week one. They had no choice but to utilize him week two. But, yeah, man, DeAndre Swift would be my offensive player of the game. I mean, of the week. And defensive player of the week would be my man from the Green Bay Packers, I mean, Walker was out there tackling. I think, like, did he have, he had 17 tackles? It was ridiculous. Like, like that's what you, I mean, that, that's a young ass linebacker. Quay Walker was out there balling 17 total tackles. 17 total tackles, all right? Um, he he just looked amazing. Uh, nine of them were assisted, but 17 total tackles uh, last week. So I thought Quay Walker played good uh, from the Green Bay Packers. 
Um, so those will be my offensive players and defensive players of the week. Let's talk about the undefeated teams. I mean, the, excuse me, let's talk about the winless teams. All right, you got the Cardinals, you got the Broncos, you got the Texans, you got the Bears, you got the Vikings. It's weird that the Vikings are 0-2. You got the Bengals, you got the Chargers, you got the Panthers, and you got the Pat Riots, right? The Patriots, all right? So... A couple of these, some one, some of these teams are facing each other, so they're gonna have to grab a win, right? And so when I'm looking at, I'm looking at the at, at the schedule, and I'm saying to myself, okay, um, now the Chargers and the Vikings both zero and two. One of them is gonna win, right? I and you know what? I don't, I don't know which one. Like the Vikings are home. I'm gonna go with the Vikings just because. I know they're going to put up points. I know that they're going to find a way to beat themselves by turning the ball over early. Will it be enough for them to, you know, overrise and overcome the Chargers? I don't think Austin Eckler is going to play. Him not playing is very detrimental to the Chargers offense. And I realized it because Joshua Kelly is not Austin Eckler ever, ever, ever. He is not Austin Eckler. So that, my friends, is a team. One of them teams going to have to be, you know, uh, one and two. And one of them is going to be 0 and 3. And I like it. I like it when football is like this. You got the two, you got bad record teams facing each other, and um, somebody's got to win. Um, you got the Houston Texans. They're 0 and 3, but they're playing the Jags. I don't see them winning. And then on Monday Night Football, I know the Rams are one and one, but can the one and one Rams defeat the zero and two Bengals? Now Joe Burrow's status is up in the air. He's dealing with the the injury still. Uh, apparently, he's not really looking like himself. The Bengals are just a clown show out there when it comes to football. It's going to be interesting to see, um, like how they how they play in Week Three. That I will say that the Bengals' offense started to heat up. Uh, and, and that's good. That's a good. That's a good sign. It's a great sign. Uh, it started to heat up, so we're gonna have to, you know, stick around and see. I'm hoping week three is just exciting. It kicks off with the 49ers and the Giants. Uh, the Giants are gonna be coming into San Francisco, and you know, I think it's gonna be a fun game. I think it's gonna be a bunch of fireworks. Um, the status of Brandon Ayuk is up in the air. It's game time decision. Uh, the status for Saquon Barkley, who was also injured in week two. I'm telling you, like, these injuries to these running backs are crazy. Matter of fact, if you play fantasy football, you may want to pick up Jerome Ford and Matt Breida from the Giants. Matt Breida, nine times out of ten, I would say 9.9 .9 times out of ten, is going to be starting in this game. I don't think Saquon Barkley will play a snap. He is listed as questionable. So that is that. Uh, but without Barkley, I just don't think that the Giants will stand the chance. They will try to mimic what Matthew Stafford and the Rams did, but I don't think Daniel Dimes or Danny Dimes is as accurate as Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford had that quick throw game on lock against San Francisco, and it wasn't until the 49ers defense figured out how to confuse him and forced him to throw the ball otherwise, and that's when he started making the mistakes I think Daniel Dimes is going to make more mistakes. Uh, and in trying not to make mistakes, he's going to make mistakes. So, yeah, man, it's going to be an interesting game. But football kicks off officially uh, Thursday night, tonight. It's going to be fun. I promise you. You're going to love it. So make sure you enjoy it. Thursday night football kicks off 49ers, Giants. And then get ready for a great week of football on Sunday and monday listen i love you guys thank you for tuning in to the all 32 nfl show with your boy breezy stay up y'all peace out thanks for watching